leave it to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Tony Dow, and Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. You know what else he said? He said he could lick you with one hand tied behind his back. Eddie said that? Yeah, you think he can, Wally? Are you kidding? He couldn't lick me the best day he ever had. Hey, Beave. Eddie hangs around that new house a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, he's probably over there right now. I think I'll go over there. I'd just like to see him say that in front of me. Come on, Beaver. Well, Beaver, Taylor did a good job of letting your suits out. Yeah. My ankles hardly show anymore. <laughs> I don't know how much longer you're going to be able to wear these. No more sleep to let out. I guess as I get bigger, there's going to be more of me to let out. Then there will be suit. I suppose so. <laughs> They're in the hall closet, Wally. Okay. Well, we're all set. Should be back around three. Oh, honey, if you want the car today, you can have it. Fred Rutherford's picking us up. Oh, good. Where are you going, Wally? Well, Dad's going to play golf. I'm going to caddy for him. Gee, can I go along? I'd like to do that. What's a caddy? Well, I carry his clubs around the course for him. And then look for the ball when he knocks it under rocks and behind trees and stuff. Couldn't I do that, too? Well, you're too close to the ground, Beaver. If you carried the bag, the bag would drag. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid you're a little too young, Beaver. They don't allow boys under 12 on the golf course. Oh. When you're under 12, you can hardly do anything. Except brush your teeth and go to bed. Well, I'll tell you what, Beaver. Maybe next weekend we can all go fishing. Then you look. That's Mr. Rutherford. Come on, Wally. I'll see you, Beaver. Yeah, I'll bring you home some of the golf balls Dad wrecks. Bring some for me, too, Wally. <laughs> uh, Wally, Mr. Rutherford's waiting. Have a good game. Well, Beaver, what do you got planned for today? Well, Lyman Dell's coming over. What are you going to do? We might do something, or we might not do something. We'll see when he gets here. Well, I have to go grocery shopping. Before you start playing or go out of the house, I want you to go upstairs and take your good clothes off. Okay, Mom. Oh, here, hang this in the closet for me, will you? Yes, Mom. Oh, Beaver, I don't want you playing over there where they're building that new house. Your father says it's too dangerous. All right, Mom. I'll put these in the wash. Beaver, I'll leave your clean jeans here on the railing. Okay, Mom. What are you doing? Just sitting. I don't want you sitting around your good suit. Okay, Mom. I'll sit around my good suit. <laughs> I'm going to go grocery shopping now. Have a good time. Bye. Hey, Beaver! I'll be right down, Mary. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Hi. I didn't know you had an uncle in Florida, Beaver. <laughs> oh, sure. He's my Elk's Tooth uncle. Hey, Beaver, look what I got. Gosh, look at all that money. But there are no pictures on it. I got them over where they're building that new house. The electricians throw them away. You want to go over and get some more? Then we can both sound like we're rich. No, I'm not supposed to go over there. And anyway, I got my good pants on. Beaver, if we don't go right over, some other guys will find them. And there won't be any left. But I'm not supposed to play over there. But we're not going to be playing. We'll just be picking up money. <laughs> That's right. I guess I could go. 
and change my pants after later. Sure, come on, let's run. Okay. Hey, Beaver, wait! <laughs> Beaver! Hello? Oh, hello, Ward. Oh, I just want to let you know we'd be home to lunch, dear. Oh, no, Wally's fine. Fred and I were only able to get in nine holes. Well, he has to leave now to take his boy Lumpy to the movies. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess he wants to get there before the prices change. Well, when you get home, I want you to speak to the beaver. He went out in one of his good suits after I told him not to. Oh, all right. All right, dear, I'll speak to him. Yeah. All right, bye. Dad? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Think this ball's beat up enough to give to the beaver? Hey, I did kind of put a smile on that one, didn't I? <laughs> no, the beaver's not going to get anything but a good talking to. He went outside to play in his good suit. Well, you know, Dad, kids like him are always forgetting stuff. <laughs> Your cough bag. <laughs> If I find four more, Beaver, I'll have twenty dollars. Gee, I got more than you got. But I only got three dollars and sixty cents. That's because I'm making believe mine are quarters. <laughs> I think I'm going to make believe mine are fifty cents. <laughs> you know, Beaver, before it's finished, it sure looks like a skeleton, doesn't it? Yeah. I never seen a house with a skid off before. <laughs> hey, Beaver, look, I made a seesaw. Come on, get on it. No, I'm not supposed to be over here. And anyways, I think I better go home and change my clothes. Look, how can you get dirty just seesawing? I can get dirty doing anything. <laughs> Don't go now, just when we're starting to have fun. Well, come on, Beave. I guess I could see Sud just once, and then go home and change my pants. Sure, get on. <laughs> okay, Beave, now you put me up in there. Well, go ahead and make yourself heavy. <laughs> I can't. You make yourself lighter. <laughs> I'm trying. What are you goofy kids doing? He's too heavy. I can't get down. That's easy. Larry, just get off. <laughs> What'd you do that for, you wise guy? You all right, Beaver? Sure he's all right. Come on, get up, Beaver. We'll do it again. This is fun. Guess I'm all right. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm all right, but I don't think my pants are. <laughs> Wow, you tore down the whole back. <laughs> this is one of my good suits, Eddie. My mom's going to be pretty sore when she finds out what happened. Wait a minute, kid. You're not going to be a little squealer, are you? Well, you're the one that did it. Yeah, but if you go around squealing on guys, nobody's going to like you. Is that why nobody likes you, Eddie? <laughs> Shut up, fat boy. <laughs> Come on, Beaver. You gonna be one of them little babies that tells his mommy everything? Well, I'm not gonna be a squealer. But if I get in any trouble, I'm gonna have my big brother Wally fix you. Go on, I can take care of Wally with one hand tied behind me. Oh, yeah? Sure, and if he tries anything with me, I'll sick my police dog on you. <laughs> He was in the war. They trained him to attack the enemy. 
Just watch what you're saying, kid. Go, Wolf. <laughs> Looks bad, huh, Larry? It sure does. You know something? You shouldn't have come over here in your good suit. <laughs> wow, there's more rip than there is pants. Never mind, Wally. <laughs> We're waiting for an explanation, Beaver. Beaver, I want to know right now how you ripped your trousers. Well, I didn't exactly rip them. Somebody else ripped them? That's right. Somebody else ripped them. Well, who was this somebody else? Uh, somebody else was a dog. A dog bit you, Beaver? Yeah, he tried to bit me. But he got my pants instead. I see. Well, who did this dog belong to? Uh... I never saw him before. I think he's from out of town. Well, Beaver, from the looks of that rip, I'd say the dog had one rusty tooth. <laughs> Beaver, it was a nail, and it happened over at that new house they're building, didn't it? Yes, sir. Why did you lie to us, Beaver? You know what happens to boys who tell lies? They don't get to watch television for the rest of their lives? <laughs> Beaver, when you tell one lie... Well, I'll tell you, when you tell one lie, it hello? always leads to another. Oh, hello, Fred. And then that... Ward? Yes, he's right here. Well, that sounds very nice. The Rutherfords want us to come over and play bridge tonight. I played golf with Fred this morning. I don't feel up to an evening with him. I... Uh, boys, you better go on upstairs. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Hello, Fred, old boy. <laughs> How are you? Go on, Pete. Fred, I'm sorry, but Ed Ferguson's been wanting to demonstrate a new car. I'd hate to disappoint him. Uh, <laughs> sure, Fred, any other time. It's just one of those things. <laughs> yeah. All right. Goodbye, boy. Ward? Honey, I just didn't feel up to another evening with Fred. And anyway, uh, Ed Ferguson did say something about a new car it was just last week. Well, I'd uh, better go up and finish my little talk with the beaver. All about what happens to little boys who tell lies? <laughs> <clears throat> well, maybe I better wait till after lunch. Till your conscience clears up a little. Yeah. And anyhow, I am a little hungry. <laughs> Now, Beaver, you disobeyed me, and you went out in your good clothes. And you ripped your trousers, and you lied to us. Yes, Mom. You know you're going to have to be punished, don't you? Yes, sir. Well, we want to be fair about it. What do you think a fair punishment would be? No stewed figs for dessert. <laughs> uh, Beaver, you know you don't like stewed figs. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dad. Why don't you make him sleep on the floor? Gee, Dad, that'd be neat. Wally, I think I can handle this myself. I'll tell you, Beaver, I think a fair punishment would be for you to spend the rest of the afternoon up here in your room. Gee, Dad, what can I do up here? Well, you could take a nap. I haven't taken a nap since a long time ago. I'm sorry, Beaver, but that's going to be your punishment. Come on, boy, into bed. Let's go, Wally. Dad, couldn't Wally take a nap with me? And now I could play checkers or something. Yeah, Dad, I wouldn't mind. All right, Wally, come on. Everybody out. Mom? Yes, Beaver? I'm sorry I wore my good pants. After you told me not to and ripped them. 
I am too. Beaver, you know the real reason you're being punished, don't you? Because I made you and Dad mad. No, because you played over at the new house and you told those lies about the dog biting you. I guess so. Beaver, it's telling lies that gets us into trouble. You'll always be safe if you tell the truth. And anyway, even when you think you're getting away with it, God knows you're lying. How? Oh, because God knows everything. and He sees everything. Right through the roof? Right through the roof. Right through the ceiling? And through the ceiling. Would God see me if I hid in my closet? Yes, Beaver. You see, God is everywhere. Was God there when Dad was talking to Mr. Rutherford on the telephone? <laughs> Well, Beaver, that was a little bit different, you see. Well, your, your father was tired, and, and he didn't want to hurt Mr. Rutherford's feelings, and... Well, Beaver, I'm afraid sometimes your father and I make mistakes. That's okay. I make it myself sometimes, Mom. Well, you lie down now and take your nap. Okay, Mom. Mom? Yes, Beaver? You gonna make Dad take a nap, too? <laughs> no, but I think there's something else your father's going to do. Yeah, Fred, June and I discovered that we are going to be able to make it tonight after all. Uh, well, Ferguson? Well, uh... Um... I, uh, I guess I was wrong about that, Fred. <laughs> yes, well, we'll look forward to seeing you, too. Hi, but... Oh, there you are, dear. We're going, and I'm going to be miserable all evening. I don't care how miserable you are, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, well, make a point of that. How's the beaver doing? He's taking his nap. I hope we haven't been too severe with him. He, he looks so forlorn up there in his room all by himself. Well, after all, he did wear his good clothes over to that house, and he did make up a fantastic story about a dog. I know it. I guess he'll have to wear his blue suit to Sunday school tomorrow. I just hope he realizes in the future that if he tells the truth, he won't get into trouble. I think he will. Boy, that Eddie sure is a wise guy. Yeah. You know what else he said? He said he could lick you with one hand tied behind his back. And he said that? Yeah, you think he can, Wally? Are you kidding? He couldn't lick me the best day he ever had. Hey, Beav. Eddie hangs around that new house a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, he's probably over there right now. I think I'll go over there. I'd just like to see him say that in front of me. Come on, Beav. I don't want to go. But Beav will only be a second. Who's going to know? Well, you know, Wally, somebody's always watching us. And anyway, we're not supposed to play over there. We're not going over there to play. We're going over there to straighten out Eddie. OK. Sure, hope he knows that. <laughs> Shouldn't the boys be home by now? Oh, they're a little late. They had on their good clothes. You don't suppose they stopped off somewhere, do you? After what happened yesterday? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we made quite an impression. All right, Eddie. Let's hear you say what you said yesterday. Gee, Wally, that was yesterday. I don't remember what I said. I do. Me too. You said you could lick Wall with one hand tied behind your back. 
Then he pushed me off the seesaw and Beaver ripped his pants. Who asked you, Larry? Listen, Eddie, I'm telling you for the last time, lay off my brother. Yeah, you lay off his brother. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Wally? The whole thing was a joke. Joke nothing. I take it back about you licking me. All right, so I take it back. Big deal. Eddie's chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take my coat now. <laughs> It's even worse than yesterday. Yeah, I guess dogs are tougher on pants and nails. Boy, you're in a big mess now. What are you gonna do? Well, Mom and Dad said yesterday, you can't get in any trouble by telling the truth. So we just better tell them what happened. Yeah, I guess that's what we better do, all right. Well, we were getting worried about you two. You certainly took a long time getting home. I know, Mom. Uh, we sort of got something to tell you. Well, what is it? Uh, well, the beaver kind of ran into a little bit of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not your blue suit, too. All right, how did it happen? And I want the truth this time, not a lot of nonsense. Well, there was this dog, see? And I pushed Wally, and then the dog jumped on me. All right, Beaver, that's enough. Upstairs. Dad, there really you wasn't... You go with him. Dad, the dog's yeah, bad really enough. Was... Upstairs, both of you. What I just don't understand the Beaver doing this again. A dog bit me. You'd think if he was going to make up a lie, he'd at least have imagination to make up a new one, wouldn't you? You know, Wally, it's funny. What's funny? You tell a lie and you get in trouble. And you tell the truth and you still get in trouble. Yeah. I guess everything you do when you're a kid gets you in trouble. But gee, you gotta do something. If you just sat around and did nothing, it wouldn't be any fun being a kid. Yeah. What gets you is, Mom and Dad don't even know we told them the truth. I'm still glad we did, though. Yeah? Well, how come? I don't know. I kind of figure at least somebody knows. Uh-huh. Well, thank you very much for calling. Oh, I'll tell him all right. Bye. Who's that? Mrs. Mandela. Oh. Ford. Mm-hmm. A dog did rip the beaver's pants. <laughs> what? Her son Larry was there and he saw it all. It seems that Wally and Eddie got in some sort of an argument and in the confusion, Eddie's dog ripped the beaver's pants. Oh, my gosh. We convinced them that they couldn't possibly get in trouble if they told the truth. Looks like we've done a pretty thorough job of confusing them. Yeah. Well, there's, there's only one thing to do. I, I've got to go upstairs and tell them I made a mistake. I, I, I've just got to tell them I flew off the handle and made a fool of myself. <laughs> Don't look so sad, dear. That's just one of the hazards of being a father. Yeah. Ward, I'll go with you. <laughs> 